in the blast that happened on April 17th, 2013, we lost three out of our four campuses. Aside from all the homes that were destroyed, we, we lost the heart of the community, the schools. Today, we had the groundbreaking for our new building that was destroyed in the blast. And it was an exciting, exciting time because it will replace two buildings that we, that we lost. One was our middle school and one was our high school. And so today we had the groundbreaking for the building that will have both of those buildings in it. So many times when you have a brown groundbreaking ceremony, you have the dignitaries there, you have the, the leaders of like our school board, etc. But I had a real heart today to have kids involved because this is their school. They're the ones that have had to endure the portable campus. They're the ones that have had to endure losing people, homes, belongings, and that kind of thing. And so I, it was real important for me, for all the community to realize, this is all about kids. The adults have been amazingly resilient too, and, and they have had their own challenges to cope with. And at the same time, they've had to help the children overcome the challenges that they've had to deal with as well. Some people were affected more than others, but when your friend is hurting and you're in a family like we are, then you're gonna hurt too. I think when they actually start laying the foundation is when the community is gonna say, wow, this is really happening. And that could be within the next couple of weeks, they'll start doing some things like that, some leveling and some dirt work and that kind of thing. So I think when they actually see that foundation laid, it usually goes pretty quickly after that. You'll see it, see them frame it. And, and I think that there will be lots of people on that street driving by to check out the progress of that building. And not only just community people, but I think our kids will be watching very carefully to see that progress.